Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 prehistoric birds that couldn't fly. From massive giants to bizarre creatures, prehistoric birds come in all shapes and sizes, but not all of them were made for the skies. Today, we'll explore the most fascinating flightless birds from millions of years ago. Some were peaceful herbivores, while others were terrifying predators that could easily have dominated the land. Ready to dive into history? Let's get started. Number 10. Dodo, Raphus cucullatus. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the dodo, the infamous bird from Mauritius. While not exactly prehistoric, the dodo became extinct in the 17th century, and its story has fascinated us ever since. Why couldn't this poor bird fly? It turns out the dodo evolved on an isolated island with no natural predators, so flight was unnecessary. Over time, its wings became too small to lift its rotund body off the ground, and it happily waddled through the forests. But once humans arrived, along with invasive species like rats and pigs, the dodo's luck ran out. By 1681, this once abundant bird was gone. Fun fact, the dodo's closest living relative is the Nicobar pigeon, a sleek and beautiful bird, which is pretty different from the image we have of the dodo. Number nine. Titanis, Titanus Waleri. At number nine is Titanus, a terror bird from North America. This predator lived around two million years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. It stood at eight feet tall and weighed around 330 pounds, making it a formidable opponent for any prey. Its powerful legs weren't just for running, they could deliver deadly kicks. Its massive beak was like a hooked weapon, capable of crushing bones or seizing small mammals and reptiles. The terrifying fact is that Titanus could run at speeds up to 30 miles per hour. Imagine a bird that big sprinting towards you. Titanus belonged to a group of flightless birds called the Forest Rassidae family. Known as terror birds due to their frightening hunting abilities. Birds ruled the land long after the extinction of dinosaurs, filling in the predator niche that was left vacant. Number 8. Moa Dinornis. Coming in at number eight is the Moa, a group of flightless birds from New Zealand. Moa could grow up to 12 feet tall, making them the tallest birds that ever existed. They weighed around 550 pounds and were entirely herbivorous. Unlike most birds, Moa had no wings at all, just tiny stubs hidden under their feathers. For millions of years, they lived peacefully, with no natural predators to fear, until humans arrived in the 1300s. Within just a few centuries, the moa was hunted to extinction. Interestingly, moa didn't just have one predator once humans arrived. Early Maori settlers also introduced dogs and rats, both of which contributed to the downfall of this gentle giant. Number 7. 
Elephant Bird, Epiornis. At number 7, we have the Elephant Bird, native to Madagascar. This massive bird weighed a whopping 1,100 pounds and stood 10 feet tall, making it the heaviest bird ever. While it wasn't a threat to animals, its size alone made it intimidating. The elephant bird had thick, powerful legs that it used to roam the forests. It went extinct around 1,000 years ago, possibly due to overhunting by humans. Fun fact, elephant bird eggs were the largest of any bird, even larger than dinosaur eggs. One egg could be as large as three feet in circumference and hold up to two gallons of liquid. Talk about a giant omelet. Number six, Forest Rakos, Forest Rakos longissimus. Next on our list at number six is Forest Rakos, another terror bird, this time from South America. Known for its enormous hooked beak, this bird could grow up to eight feet tall and weigh over 250 pounds. Its beak was its primary weapon, used to strike and kill prey, while its long legs helped it run at impressive speeds. Forest Rikos hunted small mammals and reptiles, using its terrifying strength to dominate the land. Forest Rakos was also known to use its beak to crack open bones, much like today's vultures. It wasn't a bird you'd want to meet. Number 5, Gastornis, Diatrema. In the middle of our list at number 5 is Gastornis a flightless bird that lived during the Paleocene epoch around 56 million years ago. For a long time, scientists believed that Gastornis was a fearsome predator due to its size and massive beak. Standing six feet tall and weighing nearly 500 pounds, Gastornis was thought to hunt small mammals. However, recent studies suggest that it might have been an herbivore its large beak was likely used to crush tough vegetation instead of prey. One interesting fact is that Gastornis fossils have been found in both Europe and North America, showing that this bird had quite a range. Its exact diet is still a mystery, but the shift from thinking of it as a top predator to a peaceful plant eater shows how our understanding of prehistoric creatures can evolve over time. Number four, Kalenkin, Kalenkin guillermois. Coming in at number four is Kalenkin, another terror bird, and it was the largest one of them all. Kalenkin lived about 15 million years ago in South America and was part of the Forest Rusidae family, known for its fearsome reputation. What set Kellenkin apart from the others was its massive skull, which measured nearly three feet in length, the largest skull of any known bird. This bird stood around 10 feet tall and could weigh up to 500 pounds, making it a formidable predator. Kellenkin had long, powerful legs, which allowed it to run at high speeds, possibly up to 40 miles per hour giving it the ability to chase down fast-moving prey. Its enormous beak wasn't just for show. It could deliver deadly strikes to take down animals like early mammals and reptiles. With such size and power, Kellenkin truly dominated its environment. Number three, Brontornis, Brontornis burmeisteri. At number three is Brontornis, 
another giant flightless bird from South America. Brontornis lived during the Miocene epoch, around 17 million years ago. Standing about 9 feet tall and weighing nearly half a ton, this bird was an absolute powerhouse. With such a massive size, it is believed that Brontornis was either a scavenger or a predator capable of taking down large prey. Possibly similar to the way lions or tigers hunt today. Some paleontologists suggest that Brontornis might have used its massive feet to kick and stomp on its prey, delivering fatal blows. Unlike some other birds on this list, Brontornis wasn't known for speed, but relied on sheer strength and size to dominate the landscape. Number 2. Vorombe, Vorombe Titan. Taking the second spot is Varamb, a bird so massive that it rivals the elephant bird in size. Varambi lived in Madagascar and is the largest bird that has ever existed, weighing up to 1,800 pounds and standing over 10 feet tall. While it might sound intimidating, Varamb was a peaceful herbivore, feeding on the vegetation of Madagascar's forests. The name Vorombe comes from the Malagasy word for big bird, which perfectly describes this giant. It went extinct around 1,000 years ago, likely due to habitat loss and human activity. Imagine seeing this giant creature roaming the forests. It's no wonder it became a legendary figure in Malagasy folklore. Number 1. Genyornis, Genyornis Newtoni. And finally, at number 1, we have Genyornis, the last of the giant flightless birds from Australia. Genyornis lived during the Pleistocene epoch, about 50,000 years ago, making it one of the more recent entries on our list. Standing 7 feet tall and weighing around 500 pounds, Gignornis roamed the plains and scrublands of Australia. It coexisted with early humans, and unfortunately, this may have contributed to its extinction. Gignornis had large, strong legs that helped it cover long distances. Unlike the other terror birds, it was likely a herbivore feasting on the tough plants found in Australia's arid landscape. Scientists have found evidence that early humans may have hunted Genyornis, as burned eggshells have been discovered, suggesting that humans cooked and ate their eggs. Conclusion That wraps up our list of the top 10 prehistoric birds that couldn't fly. From massive herbivores to terrifying predators, these birds ruled their environments in fascinating ways. Whether they were peaceful plant eaters or apex predators, each one played a crucial role in their ecosystems. If you enjoyed this countdown, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more prehistoric adventures.